Hello. High pressure brought sunny and dry weather, which has been a dominant theme for many this April. It's been the sunniest April on record for the UK, and rainfall was low for most of England and Wales, although Scotland and Northern Ireland were somewhat closer to their respective averages. There were some notable warm spells, and the highest April temperatures since 2011 were recorded. The daily maximum temperature for April was above average for most of the country, a 1.4 degrees C above for the UK overall, which is similar to April 2014. The highest recorded temperature this month was 25.6 degrees at Faversham, Kent on the 15th. In contrast, the clear skies meant that the daily minimum temperatures were 0.4 degrees below average overall, Northern Ireland being particularly low. The lowest recorded temperature this month was minus 8 degrees at Catesbridge, County Down on the 27th. With 46.3 millimetres, April has had 64% of average rainfall for the UK overall. However, as is often the case, this masks the detail, with much of England and Wales being notably drier than average, but western and northern areas being closer to their average. The highest recorded daily rainfall was 65.2 millimetres of rain at Altdirk House on the Isle of Skye. The deepest snow was 6 centimetres at Aviemore on the 1st. It was the sunniest April on record in a series going back to 1929, with 143% of average hours of bright sunshine. Morpeth, Cockle Park in Northumberland, for example, recorded 21 days with seven or more hours of sunshine. A maximum wind gust of 75 miles per hour was recorded at Capelkirig, Gwynedd on the 12th. Now let's take a look at some of the weather that defined April. The month opened with a northwesterly airflow with cloud and rain spreading from the west, crossing England, while further north, showers frequently turned to sleet and snow. There were plenty of clear skies in the east and north by the 2nd. After this, high pressure kept things quiet and dry for most. And by the 9th and 10th, the warm weather, light winds and a southerly airflow conspired to create a spike in air pollution, particularly across the south coast of England. Advisories were put out for people to reduce their physical exertion outdoors, and then followed a period of more unsettled weather for the north of the UK. While much of England and Wales continued to enjoy some spring sunshine, there was a spell of persistent heavy rain in western Scotland on the 13th and 14th. However, largely dry weather returned to the whole country between the 15th and 24th, before becoming somewhat more unsettled for the last week of the month. With an Arctic air mass affecting the UK, snow showers again affected the higher ground across Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. The 27th saw a very sharp frost with temperatures widely falling to minus 3 to minus 5 across northern half of the UK to see out the month much as it had begun. For more information and statistics about UK climate, please visit the Met Office website shown below.